Hey everybody, it's Keith with the L1 Automotive Training Channel. And today, we're going to talk about how you can program that module with your auto, launch, whatever you're asking about. Why do I say it like that? Let's get into it. All right, everybody. So I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time. Every time I try to make it, it turns into like a really long drawn out video. And honestly, this just deserves a five to eight minute answer. So I'll try to keep it as concise as possible. But you absolutely need to watch this video if you are asking how to program X module with my tool. So I am asked and read at least 10 times a day on, between YouTube and Facebook and all the groups I'm on how do I program this module with my, and most commonly it's the Autel tablet. Now, I am a huge fan of the Autel tablets and the launch tablets and all the other scan tools. I've got almost every single scan tool. Uh, insert B-roll here of a bunch of different tools that I've got. Anyways, um, when you're programming a module with an Autel device, your Autel does not program modules big star here except some mercedes and some bmws and they house those um, files or they pull those files directly from the server and do it through the tool natively that's about it any other programming functions that are done are not done through the tablet most autel devices are advertised by um, a lot of the sales guys that don't know what they're talking about and there are some great ones like uh, kip with advanced auto parts and isaac those guys know exactly what those tools do better than most technicians do and they're great people to ask but what you're going to hear from a lot of other salespeople is ah oh, this tool will do programming and it's a big line of bullshit. okay the tool will do a little bit of bmw and mercedes-benz programming just like the launch tablets they do a little bit of uh, volkswagen online coding they'll do some of this but they won't do svm coding they won't do there, there's all kinds of nuances programming happens with a Vehicle communication interface and a laptop with the OE software 99% of the time. Now, please, just you're going to give like, there's going to be all these anecdotal, oh, but this one time my launch pulled the software for this Ford. Yeah, I know. I understand. Uh, some of the launch tools and the top dons do Nissan stuff intermittently. None of them are good coverage. They are all spotty at best. Okay? Programming happens to an interface and a laptop. What's nice about the Autel is the interface used to communicate with the vehicle during scan tool functions is also a J2534 device, which is a device that meets the standard for many OE softwares to be used during programming. So, no, your Autel probably won't program that. Hold up, is this getting kind of confusing? Well, if it is, you guys can head over to l1training.com and I have hundreds of hours of advanced level training. We cover diagnosis, module programming, EEPROM, immobilizer, keys, board repairs, all of the great stuff you guys have questions about at l1training.com. Most of these classes are done live, so we have these Q&As where we can ask, you guys can ask questions and I answer them right there. Head on over to l1training.com and sign up and we'll see you guys there. Oh, but one time on this Chrysler, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. The thing is, is on a lot of vehicles, what you're doing to make the module work is not programming. It's coding or initializing or writing a VIN and doing the theft. Like on a Chrysler, that's how that works. So there's so many different nuances. It's impossible to give you all of the different things. It comes down to reading service info and understanding what you're doing. I would say 99% of every question I'm asked can be answered by, did you read the service info on how to do that? And they always say yes. And, you know, I'm sorry. Sometimes it, there's a lot more to it than just reading. You've got to understand the service info too. So as much as this seems like a rant, what I will tell you is, is that most of the time your auto launch, um, top Don, think car, all those things, they don't program modules. They typically don't program as in take software and install software in the module. What they do very well sometimes is initialize a module or coding or as built by configuring that module to fit this particular vehicle. Sometimes that's just writing a VIN, sometimes that's writing a VIN and tire size and all these other things. So there's a big difference between coding, programming, initializing, although they're used interchangeably, they are technically all different functions. So hope that answers your question. And if you want a big long video and more of an explanation than this one, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a longer video about this. But I had to put something out there to direct you guys to.